I want everybody on the same page. This is where this all started at, Illinois and Maryland. The first case, 24 CF, that was a $54 million lawsuit. I was supposed to go to court on that on February the 28th. The second case, 07 CF, that was the Illinois case where I was illegally incarcerated. The other case, Maryland 08, that was a case against Jake Davis, all right? And if you look right here, this was filed February the 2nd, 2011. I was turning in the, the, the state's attorney in Baltimore City and Baltimore County, and I was turning in the corruption in your courts. It was a documentary, and Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake was, was part of it. This was evidence. Offenders application for interstate compact transfer. I refused to go back to the state of Illinois on that case. I refused to go back to the state. And then y'all charged me with this, man held in toilet caper. I was making a movie and a documentary about your, your courts and your, your racism. Contact my bail bondsman, all right? He'll tell you about it. It was about a toilet. I mean, it was a movie. You feel me? It's about ceasefire and the murder and the death behind the illegal war on drugs. You feel me? Governor O'Malley had it. It was a movie about stop and frisk and zero tolerance. It's about the movie is about ending your war on drugs. And I was insured. This was an audit. I asked for an audit, a federal audit. You feel me? The Comptroller's office. Got a story called Shorty. I was flying high. I was making $260,000 a year. And I was getting ready to sell this movie for a hundred million dollars. You feel me? I had contracts. I had negotiations going on. You feel me? So we had Johnny Oleski. I gave Johnny Oleski this a year ago. Showed him I was making a movie. And he was part of it. You feel me? A documentary about your courts and your racism in your courts. Got a story called Shorty. My number ain't changed. The controller right here says, contact the credit bureau, your police department. I did contact my police department, and that's the case right there. Contact your police department. That case been sitting dormant, and I need an audit. You feel me? I need an audit. I need an audit to prove these cases existed, and I need an audit to show the role that the media played in this inf misinformation. The city law department. You feel me? I don't want nobody to say they didn't know. I put your names on the table because I put everything I got on the table. I took your car because I don't want nobody left out the loop. You feel me? Like Johnny Oleski. That's Caminettes. Y'all locked me up in Towson for, for, for standing up for Martin Luther King, for standing up for civil justice. Marilyn Mosby had this. Frank Conway destroyed evidence. You feel me? This is true to the head. It's about your government. You feel me? I don't want no misunderstandings. Because it was all about Governor O'Malley. It was about the machine Governor O'Malley created. The Democratic mom machine he created. You feel me? Pastor Jerome Stevens was here. Caminettes was here. The county executive was here. Brent Jones from the Baltimore Sun was here. You feel me? And my son was here. My son is going to bear witness to everything I said and do. Like I said, it's about mass incarceration in your prison industry. We're talking about accessing the grand jury in 2019. We're talking about the new police commissioner. You feel me? We're going to talk about making me homeless. We're going to talk about that case right there. Because Johnny Oleski asked for evidence. I got all the evidence you need. You feel me? And I'm not hard to find. I'll be at the Corinthians all the time. This ain't about Caminettes. This is about justice. Head State's Attorney Mosby. You feel me? I'm going to show you how the State's Attorney been blocking in a federal investigation. Block party gets bigger and better. It's Letters of Zion. It's a legal movie. You feel me? Ceasefire program. I brung the heat. I brung the Baltimore. Dear President Bush, because this is where it started at. That's my house on Falls on Lock Raven Boulevard. I'm an ex-felon. So I broke your crime, criminal enterprise down. And I put it all here for everybody to see. I'm going to publicly shame you just like Martin Luther King did. I'm going to publicly shame you until I get justice. It's a whistleblower's application.
You feel me? And I gave it to President Bush. You feel me? I gave it to the state's attorney. It's the art of getting money. And I'm getting ready to give it to you. Y'all see where I'm at? This is pop-up art. Art and activism. Active wherever I go. And I'm sending this to Starbucks. We're going to partner up with this. Since they had problems with racial inequalities and problems with racial issues, and they want to stand for social justice, we're going to take this to Starbucks. And we're going to take this evidence to Johnny Oleski. Because it says right there, this toilet was evidence for those three cases that you've seen up there front in the front on, on the table. We're going to talk about black justice and white justice. Because I'm white, and y'all treat me like I'm black. You feel me? Get everything from Kathleen Pugh because she signed for this. It's evidence exposing the mom machine in the Democratic Party. You feel me? And Schellenberger used the powers of his office to lock me up to destroy this evidence. But that ain't destroyed. I still got it. You feel me? I still got it. That's Rob Fix. That's my producer. And that's Cal Ripken. You feel me? And this is my bank statements. Community in crisis? Yes, we are. Hug, don't shoot. Thugs need hug, love, too. So like I said, we're taking the show on the road. I'm without for justice. Y'all just gave me this award. I'm going to put it on the road, and I'm going to show you why I earned it. You feel me? I'm going to show you how, why I earned it, how I earned it. Gonna make you famous for the right reasons. Gonna watch the crowd go ape shit in 2018, 2019. Shorty's bootleg barbecue. That's my penitentiary number. I turned in guns and drugs to the police at the police station. I'm famous for that. That's why I put it on the table. That's why I put it out there. The king of barbecue. You feel me? And Governor O'Malley knew about it because the, the story was about Governor O'Malley. The Get Shorty program. He approved the program. You feel me? And I've been in business for a while. That's my store. That's my business. You feel me? Nobody owns me but me. You feel me? And it was about suing y'all, taking your money. So we don't have no misunderstandings. I'm going to file a class action lawsuit about mass incarceration in the prison industry in Illinois and in Maryland. I'm going to show the corruption in the courts, the racketeering. All right. This is an agreement between Michael Alport and Dwayne Davis. We are working together to explore, expose this racially oppressive judicial system in Lake County, Illinois. I'm going to give giving you a write a book and split the money. Thirty five, thirty five and thirty. You feel me? That's my witnesses. That's the movie. You feel me? And that's me in jail. And that's President Obama asking for an investigation. I'm the subject of the investigation. So here's the investigation. Baltimore County State's Attorney, he had this. You knowingly locked up a whistleblower on your courts. And this was about you. It was about locking up our black youth. And that toilet represents how you treat us. You treat us like shit. You feel me? So Johnny Oleski, you got to deal with it. Frank Cott. Y'all got to give me an audit. Because I put everything on the table. And like I said, they're going to see this. 2019, Shorty's Traveling Toilet. You're going to see this toilet at Starbucks. You're going to see this toilet at City Hall. You're going to see this toilet in Washington, D.C. Because we're talking about the Constitution. You want to make America great again? Well, we're going to have to address America's hate again. We're gonna talk about mass incarceration in the prison industry. We traded the plantation for the we played it, we traded the prison for the plantation, cotton for cocaine, and we steal the cash crop. You locking us up with no no reasons, just cause we black in America. And that's gonna stop. Happy New Year. I'm gonna be the 500 pound gorilla in the room. Out for justice. It's not just gonna be us.